Hey guys, Rob from Cigar Federation here with you at IPCPR 2016 in the Crown Heads booth, one of my favorite places. John Huber, how you doing, man? Robbie, always a pleasure to see you, man. Always, always. It took you long enough to get here, though. It's day three, and he just shows up now. We so. usually, we do usually come like right. At I the know. Beginning usually, of day one. back in the day, you were like the first guy there. I'm like, Robbie, what's up, man? Yeah, no, we, we did. We came by the first. You're right by the entrance. We saw you. We came right by, and you walked right by, and it was busy like it is now. It's busy. Yeah, yeah. that's a good problem to have. It is. It's all absolutely. good. All good things. So. Tell us about the new stuff, right? Oh, yeah, new stuff. yeah, yeah. The new stuff for the show. We have two new regular production brands. One is called Las Moreas, which we did the soft launch late last year. Mm -hmm. This is the first time all four sizes will be available. Um, it, what's unique about Las Moreas is it's 100% Nicaraguan cigar for us, which is which is our first, um, including the wrapper. The wrapper, binder, and filler are all grown on the farms owned by the Garcia family. My father's cigars. So. Um, so end of December 2014 I'm at my father working on some stuff and Pepin shows me a hand of tobacco and I asked him through a translator you know what is this beautiful he says this is the original Cuban seed Corojo 99 which historically is usually grown in Honduras mm -hmm. I said where you know where's this coming from he's like I'm growing it here you know I'm growing it on a Manamani farm which is about 20 miles outside of Esteli so I'm like when's it ready he's like six months I'm like I'm in I, I want to do something with it so Fast forward to now, and then that, that became Las Moreas. That was the blend. Uh, the other new production is Le Carême, which is from Ernesto Perez Carrillo Tabacalera La Alianza in the Dominican Republic. Uh, broadleaf wrapper, Sumatra binder, Nicaraguan fillers, four classic Cuban sizes, all box pressed, trunk pressed. And uh, it's our first regular production cigar with Ernie since 2013. Yeah. So it's been a while. So it was time. Um, and our first time we're using Broadleaf with Ernie on a regular production cigar. We did it on Angel's Anvil earlier this year, but that was just to the TA. Yeah. So those are the two new brands. Um, and then we have a sampler, La Cosa Nica Selection. We try to make it a little bit easier for everybody. So we consolidated the Jericho Hill sampler, the La Imperiosa sampler, phased those out. So now you get one sampler that features La Imperiosa, Las Moreas, and Jericho Hill. Two of each. So pretty awesome. simple. Great. I'm looking forward to the. Uh, yeah. It's a crema. Le. Le. Creme. Creme. Yeah. I always want to say crema. There's. Yeah. It's not. There right. is. I think Espinosa there. is doing crema, but. The, oh yeah. There's. Okay. There's no literal translation for crema. It's Carême. named after it's... Marie Antoine Creme, the gentleman that was credited with popularizing the chocolate souffle, which I told you before we turned the camera on. That's what Ernie described the flavor profile. He's like, it's like chocolate, like smoking a chocolate souffle. So. It's a little obscure and abstract, but in these days and ages, it's, it's hard to come up with names, man. Yeah, everything's without, taken, right? Yeah, without somebody like already registering it three years ago and saying, "Yeah, I registered that already." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." So it's a cool name, and you yeah, say man. it's like smoking a chocolate, chocolate souffle. souffle. That, that doesn't sound it's, bad at all. It's not. It's just I'm really, <laughs> really proud of the blend. Awesome. Uh, really proud of the project. Both of the projects, actually. So yeah, yeah, we're excited about it. And it's been a good everything show. else, the Headley Grange, JD Howard, all that stuff's still bumping, right? All that stuff's still bumping. It's still good. Even four kicks that came out what November of '11. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll be five our five year anniversary technically of shipping cigars. And they're still still doing cool. good, man. I, I still get emails from people saying that four kicks is the best cigar you ever did, and I'm like. It's nice, but it's like, what about all the other stuff, yeah. man? You know, it's everybody like, has a favorite, right? It's exactly right, but and that's that's what we try to do is create unique flavor profiles within the portfolio to to appeal to those different flavors. Yeah, you know, everybody's not everybody likes chocolate, not everybody likes Rocky Road. Some people like vanilla, some people like strawberry. So, I don't want to end up to be the Baskin Robbins 31 flavors of the cigar world, but yeah. there are, you know, if it makes sense within our portfolio, then we'll we'll come out with it. You know, yeah. everything's pretty unique. That's one of the things I love about your lines is you really do hit on a lot of different styles, a lot of different, there's no, uh, I don't know what the term is that I'm looking for, but. Monotony? Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's yeah. exactly what it is. It's, you, you, you guys are all over the map. You're doing all kinds of different things. So that's, uh, that's what I love to That was kind of the whole idea behind Crown Heads being, you know, the, the group. And then, you know, we didn't want to do the Crown Head Cigar. We wanted to be able to do different albums that sounded differently, yeah. you know. And so that's how I look at all of our releases. You know, Four Kicks sounds and tastes differently than Headley Grange and on and on and on. So creating that umbrella company kind of gave us the latitude to create going forward. So it kind of keeps it interesting. And, and so, awesome. yeah, man. Awesome. John, appreciate it, man. Dude, always. Thanks for taking appreciate the time. It. Say hi to my hometown for me. Will do. All right, man. Thank the, you. The Giants need to start winning some baseball games, though. Oh, come on, man. Oh, they're... 
It's all right. We're Ooh. there. We're there. See, it happens. Year. It's an even year. Yeah. Giants. Go yeah. Giants. It happens. Cheers. See, so you even got a, a black and orange uh, sticker over Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I have a black and orange sticker. It I happens. Black the hats and, orange, uh, and everything. Las Calaveras. Yep. Hat. Wear that every week. Yep. All right, guys. Good thanks stuff. for checking out all the Cigar Federation coverage of IPCPR 2016. Peace. Cheers.